Hi friends, welcome back to a series that I started five months ago and quickly forgot about. Know their work. <laughs> this series is all about the writers and poets that Sonny and I really love and just want to gush about for like 10 minutes. And today we're talking about this lovely woman. Voice over Sumaya, go off. <laughs> Toni Morrison was born Chloe Anthony Wofford on February 18th, 1931 in Lorain, Ohio. Morrison is one of the world's most well-known authors. Her novels have won numerous important prizes, including the Pulitzer Prize, and she was later awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. Morrison has inspired a generation of writers to follow in her footsteps as the first African-American woman to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. The Swedish Academy said that her novels are distinguished by visionary force and poetic import in which she gives life to a fundamental component of American reality. Morrison was one of the few American authors whose work were both critically acclaimed as well as commercially successful. Her books appeared regularly on the New York Times bestseller list, were featured on Oprah Winfrey's Televest Book Club several times, and were the focus on numerous critical analyses. I think the New York Times said it best in an article I will link in the description. Quote, Morton's writing also makes it clear the past is just as strongly manifested in the bonds of family, community, and race. Bonds that let culture, identity, and a sense of belonging be transmitted from parents to children to grandchildren. These generational links, her work unfailingly suggests, form the only salutary chains in human experience. She lived 88 long years. May she rest in power. We should start with how I got into reading Toni Morrison. It's a pretty interesting love story, if I could say so myself. <laughs> the reason why I love Toni Morrison might be just a little bit weird. I honestly, in the beginning, had nothing to do with her actual books. It was mainly that I was like a angsty teenager that had like uh, dreams of becoming a writer. And I found her quote where she said, if there's a book that you really want to read, but it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. And it really called to <laughs> angsty 17-year-old Sumaya. <laughs> but when it comes to actually reading her work, I have a few of them right here. It took some time. I think back in our, I think this February, we had a Black History Month project and Sunny, the other host on this channel, uh, had an assignment to do research on uh, uh, Toni Morrison and that's when I uh, got to my uh, library and I picked up a few of her work and now here we are. So in short, Toni Morrison inspired 17 year old me to write angsty poems and now she's inspiring 21 year old me um, through all the beautiful literature that she has written. So that could be a good segue to actually talking about the books themselves. <laughs> Let's talk about Toni Morrison's most known work. I have four books right here because these are the only books that my library had. Um, but obviously Toni Morrison published more than just four books. A very successful writer indeed. And But I only read two of them. So let's talk about the two books that I've read. <laughs> I think the book that must have been a school assignment to read and must have been beloved by Toni Morrison. Um, I loved reading it. Morrison actually won a Pulitzer Prize for fiction when Beloved was first published. It's a story of a runaway slave named Seath. Seth? I'm a little bit unsure how you pronounce the first name. Anyway, at the point of recapture, she kills her infant daughter to spare her a life uh, in slavery. I read an article in a 19th century newspaper about a woman whose name was Margaret Garner, who had indeed killed or tried her children. She was a fugitive slave. And um, rather than have them go back, she decided to take them all into a permanent place of oblivion. And it was uh, an article that stayed with me for a long, long time and seemed to have in it 
an extraordinary uh, idea that was worthy of a novel, which was this compulsion to nurture, this ferocity that a woman has to be responsible for her children, and at the same time, the kind of tensions that exist in trying to be a separate, complete individual. Um, I think the book that I loved reading most for this video was Sula. Um, this story tells this book, the story of Sula and Nell, and how uh, their bond keeps getting tested by social norms. Morrison even indicated herself that um, the relationship between Sula and Nell is the most important relationship that both of them have in their life. But they're really close in their childhood, but they're not really honest with each other in their adulthood. Um, that was a really bad synopsis, but it's the best that I could do. <laughs> it's honestly a testament. When I give a bad synopsis, it's mainly because I love the book so much that I have a hard time coming up with a short blurb about it. So, I love that. Um, this next book, I'm pretty sad that I didn't get to in time. It's Song of Selim. This book has a male narrator, and it's... Uh, about his search for his own identity. It's been described as a very impressionistic coming of age uh, novel and according to uh, Morrison herself this story is about a man who uh, learns to fly and all that means but also about the ways in which we discover all of us who and what we are and how important and truly exciting that journey is. Um, this has been pointed out when I was doing my research but um, uh, Song of Selim can also be a, a wake-up call for a black male struggling to survive in white America because if you look at the averted title, SOS, not an accident, I can tell you that. As I already stated before, uh, Toni Morrison was an incredibly important and successful writer. These are only the three most popular um, books from my local library. She also has other books like God Help child that you can check out but if i were to recommend one book to start it would be sula maybe because i enjoyed it the most <laughs> and uh, if we look at the ages between the with the people that watch our videos the most i think maybe you will like it too maybe read sula <laughs> So let's round off this video and talk about why you should know of Toni Morrison. There are many reasons. I feel incredibly daunted in the task of summarizing all of the great things she has ever done, but I'll try. So through her choice in characters and themes, Toni Morrison really centered the experience of being African American. She's obviously not the only one who's ever written about that experience, but she's definitely one of the greats. I mean, the central themes in most of, or almost all of the Toni Morrison's work is the African-American experience. And maybe the most notable experience that she has written about um, is the Black experience, but through a female lens. The characters that Morrison wrote into existence were Black, mostly female, um, their lives were woven together through uh, love, pain, trials and triumphs. I mean, from the unending trauma of the runaway slave in Beloved or Percola in The Bluest Eye who couldn't find love in herself because um, of her desperate want for blue eyes, just to name two examples. Morrison's work will tear you apart, but by chapter, by page, you will be pieced back together. And there are not a lot of authors who can definitely do it as well as Toni Morrison. But fun fact of the day, Sumaya, Sumaya Morrison was the first black editor at Random House in New York and through just uh, her um, work there, she opened so many doors and undoubtedly helped to make uh, just uh, black writers be more mainstream, so. No, their work is just supposed to be a series where Sunny and I gush about our favorite authors. Um, so this video is far too short for me to talk in detail about Toni Morrison. But I will definitely leave links uh, to videos and uh, articles more where you can read more about Toni Morrison. 
my throat is about to die i've talked for a really long time so i'll see you in our next video bye <laughs>